From wolf dog hybrids to powerful, sleek Dobermans, here are 12 illegal dog breeds from around the world. Number 12. The Wolf Dog A wolf dog is a hybrid mix between a domestic dog and a wolf. Wolf hybrids are found in the wild in many places across Europe and North America. There have been some cases where a domestic dog somehow mixed with a wolf. It is hard for experts to even tell them apart. Hybrid puppies bred in captivity usually mix a German Shepherd with a gray wolf, but there are many varieties and people are attracted to the wolf-like appearance of these dogs. While they may be adorable as puppies, as they grow up they feel the call of the wild, and they are not the right pet for everyone. Depending on the degree of wolf a dog has, they can have behavior and aggression issues. The wolf dog originally came from the Czech Republic, and these dogs were great in the cold temperatures and were often used by the military. As close as wolves and dogs may seem, there are differences. Dogs have been domesticated by humans for thousands of years, while wolves are still wild animals. Humans must spend 24 hours a day with puppies to make sure that they are properly socialized. Hybrid dogs are illegal in many states in the US, as well as in Norway, although some countries allow them as long as they are at least three generations away from the wolf, but almost always with a license. Many owners don't know what they are getting into and end up giving the dog to a shelter where they are usually euthanized within a week because of their wild behavior. There are several wolf sanctuaries around the world trying to educate the public. If you want a dog that looks like a wolf, get a dog! Number 11. The Band Dog Band dogs were a type of dog bred for their strength and ferocity by crossbreeding aggressive breeds. Also known as the American Band Dog Mastiff, these dogs are known for their courage and that they seem to feel no pain. Historically, these mixed breed dogs were around during the Crusades from the 11th to 13th centuries. It was used for hunting and bull baiting where it would grab a bull by the ears if it needed to. In more recent times, these dogs were used as guard dogs and with their thick bone structure and muscles, they were very intimidating and seen as ferocious when provoked. Despite this reputation, they are known for being friendly towards other animals and dogs and are very protective of their owners. So why are they banned? Many people feel that unrestrained band dogs can cause more harm than good. Add this to the fact that these canines are really big and heavy, which can make them quite intimidating. Owners are often unable to control them, and these dogs will lash out at strangers if they feel that they are a threat. In order to not risk any incidents, especially if you have neighbors, many countries around the world have either restricted or completely banned the band dog. Number 10. The Fila Brasileiro Also known as the Brazilian Mastiff, these guys are very large dogs. Fila Brasileiro are also incredibly athletic and are known for their excellent tracking ability. They were raised as guard dogs, hunting dogs, they were hunting big game like jaguars, and also catching cattle by grabbing it by the neck. This working dog seems like the perfect loyal pet, and there is even an old Brazilian saying that says faithful as a fila. However, they hate strangers and being touched by outsiders. They're able to inflict a lot of damage on people and property should they put their minds to it. Unless they are properly socialized, they can be kind of scary. And if you have other pets or need to take this dog to the vet, you can have your hands full. Because these dogs were bred for hunting large prey, more recently people have been using them for dog fighting. To protect people and the dogs, countries like the UK, Israel, Denmark, Norway, Malta, and Cyprus have all banned the Fila Brasileiro. And now for number 9. But first, if you are new here, be sure to subscribe. We'd love to have you! Let us know if you agree that these breeds should be banned in the comments below. Number 9. The Neapolitan Mastiff These dogs are famous for being one of the biggest dog breeds in the world. Neapolitan Mastiffs are rumored to go back to at least 300 BC, when Alexander the Great brought Mastiffs to Greece. When the Romans conquered Greece, they discovered these dogs and crossed them with other large dogs to make them even bigger. These dogs were actually used as war dogs during the days of the Roman Empire, and because it's the Romans, for entertainment as well when they would battle it out against people and other animals. The Neapolitan Mastiff is very loyal and intelligent, and many people note that they are very gentle with children. They have been used over the centuries to protect homes, and their intimidating size scares a lot of people. Despite this history though, Singapore has banned them. The country has a policy which does not allow dogs into their country that have the potential to harm people, and due to the Neapolitan Mastiff's nature of being a protector, that qualifies. So does pretty much every other dog on this list. To own one in Romania, you have to pass a psychological evaluation. In the States, they are banned from many cities. 
Number 8. The Dogo Argentino The Dogo Argentino is a large, white, muscular dog. As its name suggests, this canine was bred in Argentina for big game hunting, including wild boar. These dogs are not naturally aggressive canines and are very obedient and brave, willing to protect their owners at whatever the cost. This dog is very athletic and has a loud bark, but craves close physical contact. Because they were also often used and bred for dog fights, they can be very aggressive, especially with other dogs, and they can hunt down your cat if you're not careful. They were bred to hunt in packs, but if they are not socialized or trained properly, they can be very dangerous. This breed is illegal or has serious restrictions in the UK, Portugal, Ukraine, Denmark, Australia, and more. Number 7. The Japanese Tosa Inu This dog is actually pretty rare. It was bred as a fighting dog and can react aggressively towards other animals, but are usually affectionate and calm with their own family. They were extremely popular in the 1920s and 30s, but should be kept by themselves. Any other pets you have might disappear. While they are not supposed to be too aggressive, they can snap, so you have a major legal and ethical responsibility. They are good for using in the sport of weight pulling. Some Tosas can pull more than 3,000 pounds. Not many people can handle a dog like that, which is why they are banned in countries like the UK, Denmark, Malta, Norway, and many others. In the US, if you have this dog, your insurance company might cancel your homeowner's policy, and if you're not careful, you could easily get sued. Number 6. The Bourbul The Bourbul were great guard dogs and bred in South Africa to protect farms and diamond mines. They're bred to be lean, muscular, and strong, but they also have a loyalty to their masters. Like many of the dogs on this list, they are definitely not for first-time dog owners. They are energetic and smart and seem to love their work. They should never be allowed to roam free because they can have a protective territorial nature. They can become either very shy or very aggressive without the proper socialization. In South Africa, they were known for protecting property not only from human intruders, but from baboons and leopards. Like other guard dogs, they can be very dominant and need a lot of training and dedication. These giants have been banned in certain countries including Denmark, Romania, Russia, Ukraine, France, Malaysia, Qatar, Switzerland, and Bermuda. Number 5. The Doberman Pinscher Many people are afraid of the Doberman Pinscher just by looking at it. It is very muscular and sleek and is actually a very modern dog. The earliest examples came from 19th century Germany and they quickly became very popular in the United States. They are usually black and tan and have a docked tail and cropped ears, although more recently some countries have outlawed this practice. Fun fact, the miniature Pinscher is not a miniature Doberman. The two breeds are actually not related. Pinscher apparently means biter in German, so that should be an indication as to their fierce reputation. They were bred to protect their owners and are fiercely loyal to those they know, but really aggressive to those they don't. Besides that, they were often photographed with Nazi soldiers, so they got the reputation of being evil. Rottweilers also gained a similar reputation and are banned for the same reasons. They need a lot of exercise and attention and can be very sweet and easygoing with the family. They are very successful as police and military dogs, but because a lot of irresponsible people want these dogs but are unable to handle them, they are banned in many places around the world. Number 4. Alaskan Malamutes To many people, the Alaskan Malamute is the most beautiful dog breed in the world. It is often confused with the Siberian Husky, although they are cousins. Many love them for their unique fur coat and beautiful eyes, but the truth of the matter is that hidden beneath the surface is a personality that can be problematic. First and foremost, the Alaskan Malamute is full of energy and people don't always understand their needs. They almost always want to play and work because they were bred for stamina and strength. After all, just like Huskies, they were bred to pull sleds in freezing temperatures over long distances. They can also pull around 3,000 pounds of weight. They need about one and a half to two hours of exercise a day, and if they don't get enough, you may be in for some trouble. Like many other dogs on this list, they need a firm and dominant owner because they have a pack instinct and love to be a part of the family. An important thing to know is that they don't do well in the heat and have a high prey drive. They have a killer instinct, and besides pulling sleds, they were also bred to hunt seals and polar bears, so they don't mess around. They are not a breed for the lazy or the faint of heart. And thus, Alaskan Malamutes are banned in many parts of the world and severely restricted in Iowa, Louisiana, and Michigan, to name a few. Number 3. The Pitbull I'm sure you already knew this dog was coming up. When it comes to banned dog breeds, Pitbulls are usually the first breed that comes to mind. These dogs are very misunderstood, and like most dogs on the list, need owners who are well-educated. 
Pit bulls get a bad rap because they are frequently in the media, even though studies show that they are not disproportionately dangerous compared to other breeds. Pit bulls descend from bulldogs and terriers, and even mixed breed dogs that look like them get labeled as pit bulls. When baiting animals was outlawed in the 1800s, people started fighting their dogs against each other. In modern times, street gangs have often abused the good nature of this dog, turning them into monsters to intimidate others and to make money. Like other breeds, pit bulls were bred as fighting dogs and catch dogs because they were strong enough to hold onto the heads of bulls and cattle. They were also used as hunting dogs to get boar and hogs. There is a study that was done about the most dangerous breeds of dog that attack humans, and pit bulls accounted for 45% of those attacks. Like I said before, the sad thing is that even dogs that are not pit bulls are labeled as such. Many of those reported attacks were on children. In 2016, out of 31 dog bite related fatalities, 22 were reported to be from pit bulls. So this is why they have such a bad reputation. They are one of the most banned breeds in the world and insurance will not cover your home or any bites if you have a pit bull. Number two, the American Bulldog. American Bulldogs are often confused with pit bulls. In the US, especially in the South, the American Bulldog is revered as a loyal helper dog but in most other places, people don't like them at all. On the plus side, the American Bulldog is a very hardworking dog. They're known as farm dogs and they can be relied upon to do all kinds of tasks. They also have a very social nature and they're very easily able to get people to warm up to them and show them affection. When settlers arrived to the South, these dogs were the only animals that could help them deal with wild pigs and vermin running around. They almost went extinct during World War II but were revived and are now a popular pet. However, owners need to be responsible and train and socialize their dog from a young age. Countries like Denmark, Singapore, and more have banned them. In their eyes, the bulldog has a tendency to be quite aggressive in completing their tasks. They also can get into fights, and they fight to win. It is interesting to note that while countries prohibit the American Pit Bull Terrier, they will allow the American Bulldog, but sometimes people will get in trouble anyway because they look alike. Number 1. The Presa Canario How do you measure how good or how bad a dog is? The Presa Canario is a powerful dog and is one of the most outlawed around the world. Also known as the Canary Mastiff, this dog has a thick and muscular body. They were used in ancient times and would protect cattle from wild dogs. Between the 16th and 18th centuries, people had a very difficult relationship with this dog because they would also kill cattle or do a lot of damage. They were then allowed to be hunted themselves, and then they could only be owned by hunters or farmers. They were also used for dog fighting until the 1950s. As usual, they can be very loyal to their owners and immediate family, but if you're a stranger, they're not going to hesitate to get up in your face, or even attack you if necessary. You may think that's the worst of it, but it's not. There have been many reports of them killing both strangers and their own owners. Between 1982 to 2014, there were 111 attacks, 46 against children and 41 against adults. 18 people died and 63 had permanent injuries. They have the reputation for being so wild and aggressive that they actually have to be trained to be nice, which is not something a dog owner would want in their pet. Countries around the world have banned the Presa Canario for all of these reasons, likely a case of don't risk it. Thanks for watching. Remember, there are no bad dogs, only bad pet owners. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!